Hello, welcome to Naturalocity. Today is January the 28th, 2012, and welcome to my natural hair preservation and weight loss for week three with a time frame comprised of January the 21st through January 28th. And I must confess, this week did not go according to plan. Unfortunately, we suffered a death in the family. My grandmother passed, but she had a long, long, long fight with Alzheimer's. In the past two weeks, she stopped eating and that contributed to her death but I, I can let you know she was a wonderful woman and I will pray that scientists uh, physicians they will find a cure for Alzheimer's because that is a dreadful disease of, and with any other as well as any other disease out there that doesn't have a cure but we I grieved over my grandmother and we did all the planning so exercise was the last on my on my mind and uh, family and friends brought over food and of course it was the comfort food and we just gathered around and talked and you know remembered my grandmother and of course gave her the proper burial and I'm still sad at the time at this particular time don't get me wrong on that but I know that I need to continue on my weight loss journey just for my own personal health right now I don't have any health issues but I don't want any either and I do want to talk about my hair as well. I did not go to the hairdresser on Friday. Just be, before my grandmother passed, I decided to, we have a local event coming up in our city. And I wanted to purchase something online and I wasn't able to go to the hairdresser on Friday. So what I did is I continued to wear the same hairstyle from week two, which was the cornrow updo with the pin curls in the front. But I must confess that under this hat and scarf, that particular hairstyle is rough. I mean, it's really rough. But uh, unfortunately, my grandmother did pass on Monday. And I I did go to work, but I did put on... Uh, I did a video three three months ago about the Bobby Brown... Um, uh, let me see. The Protective Bobby Balls 3 4th Quarter Wig MTQ 45. Um, the color was the FS1B. Uh, and, and it says on top of natural hair. So I particularly just wore that particular wig if I was out and about. But uh, when I was home, I took the wig off and I put a scarf on my hair. And that was it. So I didn't have to go to work on Tuesday through uh, Friday, of course. Because um, I took off from work to take care of family matters. So it's actually nice not to really have to do your hair. So the actual the natural hair preservation for this particular video is irrelevant for the simple fact my hairstyle is the same as week two, but it's really fuzzy right now. So I'm not going to take this hat off because it is a hot mess under here. But let me tell you about my weight loss. Uh, for week three, at the ending no at the end of week two, I weighed 188 pounds. I still weigh 188 pounds. So even with me not really focusing on counting my points and eating correctly healthy i did not gain any weight but what i did do i did go to the gym on saturday and i did exactly what i was supposed to do i did count my points on saturday and i did count my points on sunday but when monday came around and the rest of the day till today um i i didn't count my points at all but i did not gain any weight so but what I did do, I did, I did, again, I went to the gym on Saturday, and then I tried to do a makeup session on Thursday to try to uh, pound out my frustration, because Thursday was actually my grandmother's wake, and I was, when I woke up that morning, I was just emotional basket case, so I just wanted to pound out my frustration on the elliptical machine, and uh, I actually did a aerobic class, because my local gym offers one, and <laughs> I can tell you, I was... I was just a squatting food because it was a muscle mix. So they really focused on your, you know, your, your hamstring, not your hamstring. They focused on your glutes and, and your your thighs. And and I was just really into it. So I can tell you one thing. If you have frustration and you uh, have a membership at the gym, if you have uh, exercise equipment, that's a great stress relief because I felt great afterwards. 
But after I left the gym, I realized that I did have to go to the wake, and the next day I had to go to the funeral. But b besides that, um, just know that I am focused now. Even though I did have a bump in the road, and life doesn't go according to plan. I mean, sometimes you just experience unfortunate situations, and you just have to deal with it the best that you can. And that that's what I did in this situation. So, my hair is a mess. That's why I'm able to wear a scarf. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you work from home and you you're not have, you don't have to see the public, I tell you, a, a silk scarf is your friend because you don't have to really worry about your hair <laughs> just because it's still protective. But I did do the same technique. When I did go to the gym on Saturday and Thursday, when I came back home, I waited for my hair. No, I didn't. I spritzed my hair with the moisture cleanse. Then I waited it for it to dry, and then I spritzed my hair with the oil combination of the whole oil and the sweet almond oil, and I just spritzed it on my scalp, which my particular hairstyle, my scalp is exposed just because it's still in that cornrow updo with the pin curls in the front because I did not take it down as I, as I stated that I was going to do on week two. I just really didn't want to do my hair. But, uh, and I saw my uh, wig uh, sitting on my, you know, the head mannequin. I'm like, well, I'm going to wear you for a week. So that's what I did. But um, I'm going to the hairdresser later on today because it's uh, 1 o'clock in the morning on the 28th. So I have a hair appointment on um, at 9.30 a.m. So I'm going to get some rest in a couple of minutes. I'll go to the hair salon, of course, shoot another video about up a, you know my hair being styled I don't know exactly what type of hairstyle that I am going to have her to style for me but it will be a protective hairstyle where I won't have to do much to it other than tie it up with a scarf and spritz it with an oil combination because I highly recommend protective hairstyles just because I just don't want to I just don't want to fool my hair daily I, I don't want to have to be all in my hair and changing styles from day to day or Picking it out, or you know, I just want to be to be in a protective hairstyle where it will look nice for an entire week. And believe me, I will only wear my hair for hairstyle for a week. But what I did do with this particular hairstyle, I did wash my hair in the shower, but I left the style as it was. So I washed it. I can I didn't deep condition. I put conditioner on my hair and I let it sit for about five minutes and I rinsed it off and I put a leave-in conditioner in. Waited for that to dry, and then I spritzed it with my oil combination, and that was it. So, that's that's the part of the hair preservation, but it it is kind of rough. So, I did, while I was at the gym on Saturday, and when I was at the gym on Thursday, I actually just only have a picture of an end of a workout session on the elliptical machine for 30 minutes on Saturday. But then I do have video footage of me in the gym on Thursday, but I, unfortunately I did not get a close up of my hairstyle that I'm sporting right now, which again is fuzzy. If you ever saw like um, somebody who's had cornrows in a little too long and it just looks fuzzy, that's exactly what my hair looks like. So I'm going to the hairdresser later on today and my hairstyle will be fixed. But um, the good thing, I wouldn't say the good thing, I did not have to go into the office, so when if I wasn't around anybody or, or at the gym, my, I didn't wear my wig in the gym and I didn't wear a scarf, so I just let it go free because when I go to the gym, I'm not trying to look cute, I'm trying to exercise my pounds off and I just don't care, I mean, I'm, I don't look horribly bad at the gym, but it's not like I really take effort to look cute going to the gym, so this is week three that didn't go according to plan, but week four, I'm going to be back. So if anyone says they their exercise, when they start their exercise regimen, that they do everything correctly, let me know who does that. For some fact, I fell off this week, and I'm not going to lie to you, but I did not gain any weight. So hopefully when I record for week four, I can document that I did lose weight. So I didn't do a uh, push back of this uh, video so you can see, you know, my weight because it looks the same as it did on week two. So there was no need for, for me to show you like my little uh, profile. So week four, I definitely will because uh, hopefully life goes smoothly for week four and then I, but oh, I'm not, I'm not going to jinx myself. 
I'm not going to say any negativity. So, thank you so much for watching Natural Lossy Channel. If you like, please stay tuned to see video footage of me in the gym on Thursday. And I only have a picture caption of uh, end of the workout on Saturday. So, have a great day and thank you so much for watching Natural Lossy Channel. So I'm going to keep encouraging myself. I do have a circle of friends and family members who are encouraging me to continue on my weight loss journey. And I can tell you, it's only been week three of me really being faithful with my weight loss endeavor. And again, I did have a bump in the road, basically with the death of my grandmother. And basically, I had to deal was my situation the best way I knew how as the planning and grieving and I'm still sad of course but the, on the flip side I know there's work for me to do for me to stay healthy so and it's not being selfish or anything because you only you're only given one shot in this life and I'm a I, I think I'm a pretty young female right now and I just don't want to have unfortunate ailments later on down in life due to my bad eating habits and lack of exercise so right now and I'm pounding it out on this elliptical machine and I tell you until I started talking about it I was like focused on my exercise but I wanted to document my journey because I think when I look back and I when I reach my goal and look back at the steps that I took I think I should be, I think I would be proud of myself because no one's going to do it for you. You have to do it for yourself. And I know there's a lot of, it is still the first of the year and there's a lot of videos out there saying weight loss this, weight loss that. And it's important, but you have to come to the determination that that's what you want to do and motivate yourself because no one can set far to your motivation unless you are determined to do it because if they set fire to your feet and you don't move then you're gonna burn up <laughs> but anyway i'm gonna my my time in this gym is gonna incorporate an hour on the elliptical machine i want to start master and i'm gonna work my upper body and do crunches so this is my makeup work y'all so thank you so much for watching natural Lossy's channel and please keep cheering me on